Monsignor Ignacio Carrasco de Paula. That's such a long name and so unnecessary. Uh, this guy's the head of the bioethics at the Vatican. And he told the Italian news agency ANSA that he disagrees with what Brittany Maynard did. For those of you who don't know, Brittany Maynard was a 29-year-old woman with terminal brain cancer and just a few months to live. And she decided to move. She was in California. They moved to Oregon because uh, she wanted to decide when she could end her life. She chose death with dignity, and she didn't want to suffer the pain. According to the doctors, the pain of the kind of uh, brain cancer she had would become un bearable at a certain point. So she said, no, I'm not going to go through that. Let me go to Oregon, and when the pain gets too much, we'll end my life in a humane way with my family around me. So here's what this Vatican representative said. Quote, This woman took her own life thinking she would die with dignity. But this is the error. Suicide is not a good thing. It is a bad thing because it is saying no to life and to everything it means with respect to our mission in the world and towards those around us. Brittany Maynard's act is in itself reprehensible, but the gesture in and of itself should be condemned. It's absurdity. Here's why I love this story. It exposes the fraud that the church is and that religion is. Because what's the main selling point of the Vatican and Catholicism, but all religion by and large? It's that they portray themselves as the most sympathetic characters in the world. But if this proves anything, it's that they are the least sympathetic characters in the world. Think about how fucking dense you would have to be to not see this situation from Britney's perspective and understand that it's her choice and she's probably making the right decision. I mean, we can all imagine being in some sort of excruciating pain and hating every living second of our lives and just wanting it to be over and to choose our own destiny and embrace freedom and make the decision with our family around and leave on our terms? We can all imagine that. We can, we've can. we all been in extreme pain at one time or another in our lives from whatever. And imagine that pain multiplied by quite a bit more and then persistent. And this guy says, no, I'm going to judge you. I'm going to judge your decision. And if I had my way, I would make you live in pain. I would make you live with that pain. And you're to tell me that you're sympathetic. You're sympathetic. No, again, you're the opposite of sympathetic. You're cold-hearted. You're an asshole. It's amazing to me. See, this is one of those things I just, I can't understand it for the life of me. You see this a lot with far-right conservatives, and apparently you see this a lot with very religious people, they're just incap they're incapable of being open-minded. They're incapable of seeing things from others' perspectives. They just, they marry themselves to this dogmatic position, and then they argue for it, even when it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. I gotta be honest, I've, I've never heard anybody seriously take the position and argue for it that no, you shouldn't be able to decide if you're in excruciating pain, you have a terminal illness, you don't have long to live. You shouldn't be able to decide to decide when you die. And the reason why I didn't see anybody argue for it in the past is because it's a dumb fucking thing to argue for. But here's a true Kool-Aid drinker. A true Kool-Aid drinker who truly believes in his goofball backwards religion, and he thinks, no, this is what, uh, this is what God wants. And do you really, how do you know? How do you know? Where did God speak about this specifically? Did God speak to you about this specifically? Did he whisper in your fucking ear about this? Are you so, are you that sure? You're that sure to the point where you would tell this poor suffering person, fuck you, feel your pain, sit there and feel it. Sit there and feel it. And you're going to stay here as long as I want you to stay here. Who is the state and who is this jackass to tell somebody else, I'm going to make the decisions about your life? Even when it's a terminal illness, even when you're in extreme pain, even when you want it to end, even when your family has said it's fine and you should be able to make the decision and we're here with you. I mean, 
How pretentious, how pompous, how arrogant of them. This is the problem with religion. It's immorality masquerading as morality. It's people who haven't thought about these issues in any serious way, are incapable of sympathizing with other people, and they're claiming the moral high ground and judging, while, again, ironically, they're the height of immorality as they think they're being the height of morality. I got news for you, Monsignor Ignacio Carrasco de Paula, long name asshole. Uh, nobody cares what you think, and you're not adding anything of substance to the conversation. You're a child with a backwards opinion, and guess what? Maybe one day you'll find yourself in this horrible position where you have a terminal illness and you want to end it. And then I hope you think back to the words you said to Brittany Maynard and you realize, wow, was I wrong on that.